In this lesson, we're going to break and run a rack of nine ball, and this time I'm also showing you all the different options you have to get position, and of course which spin you have to use. Alright, I'm going to break the rack now, then you will hear my live commentary with all the explanations, different shots and of course the GoPro view. And by the way, for the best learning experience, pause the video after every shot and think about what you would do. Alright, let's uh, mark the position of all the balls and then we're going to, or I'm going to show you all the different options you have to run this rack. Alright, a semi-successful break, we made uh, the one ball into the side pocket, we made the wing ball, but we lost the cue ball a bit, the cue ball would be at the center, we would be perfect, so we have the two ball here. Well, let me show you the angle first that we have on the two ball. So this is the straight line. Well, of course, we are trying to run this rack in this uh, episode of this series or of this video, so we're going to do the aggressive way. but. I'm also going to show you the defensive shot first that we have here and then we're going to uh, make the aggressive shot on trying to run this rack. Well, it's a 50-50 decision that you could do here. Of course, we're going to play the bank shot into here if we're going the offensive way. If you're feeling comfortable, then maybe do it, but uh, the risk is high to sell out because the cue ball stays here and the two ball always also stay uh, in this area, the two ball, so the two ball doesn't get towards here into a safe position. So we're going for the safety first. And it's not the easiest safety in the world, I think. We're trying to shoot the two ball towards here, bringing it down table to the short rail, and in the best case, the cue ball ends up behind the eight ball. Gotta be careful because we're losing the cue ball a bit because it has a lot of speed on it. So I'm not using any English here that speeds the cue ball up. And we got a safety, just a containing safety, but this was a clever shot or the most uh, yeah, easiest fast forward safety because uh, if you're trying something crazy, you maybe sell out. Okay, this was the safety shot. Now let's go for the aggressive option and now actually try um, to run this rack. Of course, there is an option not to shoot the bank, but to shoot the two ball into the side pocket. This is a very thin cut. We're also losing the cue ball a bit behind here. So we're going for the bank shot. And what I'm actually trying to do here is, of course, I could just stop here and have a difficult and long four ball. But what I'm trying to do here is I'm hitting a bit softer, following the cue ball so that the cue ball follows and gets a bit closer to the four ball. All right, bank shot. This will be a future lesson on bank shots. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to find uh, the straight bank shot line. This means where the angle is cut in half, but as I mentioned, the future lesson. All right, and I'm going to play high. The cue ball follows. Of course, you could also add right spin that the cue ball comes a bit closer. I think we're going to do this with the right spin just to show you what is possible on bank shots. All right, right spin, high ball. And you can see that way we have a much easier shot on the four ball, of course. The right spin and the high ball is much more difficult compared to just hitting it hard, stopping the ball. But uh, I felt very comfortable with this kind of shot and I want to show you everything that you can do. So high with right brings you a bit closer, but for the most people I would recommend to just play it hard without any spin because banking balls with inside spin is very difficult. All right, now on uh, the four ball, we basically have two options. We could either try to get it here to play it into the side pocket or to get it here to play it long. This depends on personal preference and the only difference here really is, is the speed that you're playing. A bit softer, cue ball stops here, a bit further, cue ball stops here. So this is a kind of a two-way shot where you really can't miss position because you always have the five ball either into the side or into the corner pocket. I think I'm going for the side pocket here, just because I have a bit too much angle to hold it comfortably. So I'm letting my stroke a bit more out, I'm going for the side pocket.
nicely done. Well, now, of course, we just have uh, one option to get to the six ball, which is just playing it into the side pocket. Very important. We want to get straight or to this side of the six ball that we don't go away from the seven ball. So I'm just going to play this with a high ball. I'm trying to get a bit away from the side pocket again. So that I'm not frozen. And again, well here, what do we have? Uh, we have two options here. Let's uh, mark the position of the cue ball real quick. But this really also doesn't make a huge difference. The first option is um, following the ball. So we get positioned like this, which is a very nice position. The other option that you also have on this shot, very basic stuff here, is not to follow the ball, but to play a stun shot. It means stunning the cue ball towards here. I think uh, from the execution, the follow shot is a bit easier because that stun shot can get away from you. Maybe you're drawing accidentally like this, which is fine in this case. That's also a possibility to draw it towards here. But then you risk getting behind the nine ball and there really is no need to draw the cue ball towards here because here we already have position. So let's now show you the stun shot to get towards here. Want to stay again in this area here, playing as low as possible so that I can hit softer. And this is uh, the stun shot. Well, both works. I like the follow a bit better because you actually have the possibility to get a bit more to this side without risking the nine ball because uh, with the follow shot we came this line where we can't get behind the nine ball. And now let's see what we can do on the eight ball. Well, again, there maybe are two options to get to the eight ball, but really one that makes a lot of sense, which is playing the ball in, going two rails towards here, and uh, yeah, getting position for the eight ball. Of course, you could go one rail. This means missing the nine ball, going like this, but that way we have uh, the wrong angle on the eight ball. We're going to this side, so this is not what we're going to do. Let me grab my Mass Pro extension real quick here because I can't reach the shots without. So I'm just playing a right spin here, a tiny bit of right spin. And now we actually have the problem that we didn't get the right angle because our goal obviously was to bring the cue ball towards here, we just can play a stun shot and go towards the line of the nine ball. So we have a bit of a problem here. Well, this is a very, very interesting shot now that we have. Um, we have a bit too much angle. Let me show you this real quick with the GoPro. To just follow and hold on this side. So we have to get to this side, play the nine ball into here. What we could do now is play it one rail. This means just a follow shot and concentrate on the speed, maybe even, let me mark the cue ball first before we go any further. So what we have to do or what we could do is playing it high with a touch of left spin. As you can see, that way we're going one rail with uh, even more left spin, I come out like this, but I don't want to do too much left spin, inside spin on this type of shot. So we have a very makeable nine from here. But what we're going to do is, is uh, in my opinion, the much better way we're using a touch of outside spin. That way the shot itself gets easier and we're going two rails and trying to get towards the nine from the second rail. So again, a follow shot, just a bit of outside spin this time. And as you can see, we're going nicely into the line of the nine ball. Let's play this real quick with just a stop shot so that I don't have a skit. Well, and that's how you uh, break 
and run a rack of nine ball. Thanks for watching guys and by the way the what's in the case video will come soon. In the meantime if you want to know more about uh, mask use for example check out your social media YouTube, Instagram or Facebook. The links are down here. Will probably take one or two weeks until the video will be published with uh, not only my cues but everything that I'm using. Okay guys if you enjoyed today's video then please as always consider to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and very important if you are a subscriber and if you want to get notified and please hit that uh, tiny bell notification that way you will get notified once i'm uploading new content and this really helps me and you if you want to see my videos of course okay guys a huge thank you goes out to all of my sponsors to my patrons to everyone who's supporting me thanks for watching guys and as always see you in the next lesson take care